Hi, I am Ronnie. Wait, 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 Oh, God. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm Melody. <laughs> we are... Mom's, Mom's Vlog 80. 80. Ow, I actually ripped my elbow. That, that trip was real, by the way. That was really real. Do you see the skin? And if you feel like Captain America holding a candle, then you need to come on over to Mom's Vlog 80 and subscribe. We do daily vlogs just like Carly. We do daily vlogs. We have a family of four, two kids, one autistic, one fighting stage four cancer, and you haven't seen us yet. You have to come over because we promote hope and positivity. And positivity. How so, you doing? So make sure you guys come on over to Mom's Vlog 80. Welcome to, to Carly's, Carly's Corner. Corner. What's up, what's up? Subscribe to their channel. I got the Sunday blues. <laughs> this light though, it's like heavenly. Hello guys, happy Wednesday. For us it is Sunday and we are so sad to be going back to work tomorrow. But it's okay, we just have like three weeks, three and a half weeks until we're off for a little bit for Christmas. It's seriously late, it's 2.40. It's 2.40, yeah. Chris over here wearing his Bronco shirt, folding laundry. Getting ready for the big game tonight. I'm told it's a big divisional game. And this is why, this is why he has to watch it instead of The Walking Dead, Shameless or Westworld. I'm probably not gonna get to watch any of them. It makes me sad. We had an actually very productive day. We went grocery shopping. Chris has folded three loads of laundry. We've got another load in the dryer. We've got another load in the wash. And then after that, we have one more load to put in the wash. Can you tell we've been slacking on laundry? <laughs> and we are at 3.30, going over to his dad's house. This happens every year that we have Thanksgiving over at my parents' house. Walter and Joseph, you know, they want the smell of the turkey cooking in their home. They want the house to smell like turkey, and as a result, we get to eat another turkey. Ah, <laughs> oh, the red battery is flashing. Oh my god, I didn't charge the other battery. <laughs> Hold that thought. I'm gonna charge you guys. All right, guys, remember how I told you that last Friday was the anniversary of something? <laughs> What could it be? I looked it up to get the specific date. Uh, I looked at the timestamp on the photo. And 10 years ago on November 25th, I got my belly button pierced. I was 18. I was going through a breakup, my first breakup with my high school boyfriend. It was right after Thanksgiving. Well, the breakup happened before Thanksgiving, but I had come down to my parents' house for Thanksgiving and I was just a wreck being in the same town. I was just, I just couldn't handle it. So my, we pretty much canceled Thanksgiving dinner and my parents said, that, that's it, we'll pack up, we'll do a road trip back up to Berkeley where I was going to college. We drove up, we stopped in Carmel, and even though I was in a, I was in a state, you guys, I probably like, I slept and I cried and I slept and I cried and I couldn't eat anything. But I got up there to Carmel. Now Carmel's like a kind of like, classy it's a ritzy area ritzy classy area um so it they don't really have a lot of tattoo and piercing <laughs> places <laughs> but i really wanted to get my belly button pierced and my parents being the awesome parents they were were like we're gonna do we're gonna go and we're gonna get your belly button pierced so we found a place mom couldn't come in i think she might have been a little too squeamish <laughs> about it What's he ripping? So my dad actually came into the room with me and took pictures. And I think he took video, honestly, but I don't have that video, which is a bummer, because I would totally put that in. But I'll put in the pictures of me getting my belly button pierced. I was so skinny. That happened 10 years ago. And last year, I think I thought, I'm gonna take out my belly button ring. I've had it for a long time, and it's not like I ever show my stomach. So I was gonna take it out last year, but then I got kind of sad about it and I thought, no, I'm gonna do it on the 10 year anniversary 
and like make it an occasion. I'm gonna make it something special. Chris wanted to be here for it. <laughs> He's never known me without it. So I'm gonna take out my belly button piercing, and I have, no, I have no idea if it's gonna close up or if it's going to just stay a hole or if it's going to stretch when I'm pregnant in the future and... I could wave to you or to you. <laughs> I have no idea. It might just be like a really big um, stretch mark in the future, but here we go. Oh, okay. I feel so naked. <laughs> it's just like a hole now. It's just a hole in my stomach. Down, Cooper said. Eight. I've seriously not been without so. this for for ten years. I'm so weird. Ah, it's so weird. Did you feel it? Oh wow, that's weird. It's weird. <laughs> I'm officially over that stage of my life because you know I'm never ever doing that again. One, because I feel like it will no longer be age appropriate, but two, freaking they stick a needle through your oh, ah. You'll get matching ones with our future daughter. That's what my mom almost <laughs> did with me. <laughs> nope, I'm done with that. Done with that. I'm all grown up. That's so sad. The things I've gone through to keep this dang piercing because when I was like 20 or something I guess it had for two years it had not fully healed and I didn't know that and then when I was around 20 it got super infected and I went to the doctor and he was like well you should just take it out and let it heal and I said I don't want to so I like cleaned it religiously every day and was on like a 10 day thing of antibiotics and sure enough it fixed it and I was able to have it for eight more years, but 10 years, baby. I made it 10 years with the belly button piercing. High five. Oops, sorry, hold up. Wait, that's not, a, that's not our normal high five. It's... Okay. Oh, coming for the aftershock. You need to put that ointment on your knuckles. They're pretty dry. Chris has winter dry skin. He wants to go to Grandpa's so bad that he's crying. Already? Oh, he's so he's so happy. You're so I'm happy here. to see her, Stella. Go oh. oh, get him! Get him! Get him! I am so stuffed, which is why I showed you my stomach before we went over to dinner. No joke, this change of not having the belly ring is bigger than I thought it would be. I didn't realize how often I touch my stomach and feel the little like mm -hmm. the little bump, the little metal bump, and it was so, it's so weird. Feel it. What do you think? It's weird. It's weird. It feels different. Like it, if, ah, oh, it's so weird. You're okay. He's like, how do I get out of this? It's okay. You're okay. Oh, Charlie. Cooper, don't scare him. Oh, those are sleepy eyes. He's fighting the sleep, guys. He's fighting it. That's kind of early, but it's not early for me. And also, we have work tomorrow. But the Broncos are still playing because something about overtime, or I don't know. Chris is still outside um, watching the game, and I am exhausted. I'm gonna end the vlog without him because who freaking knows when this game is gonna end?
I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.